Welcome back to Razmafsar channel. My name is Manusher Moshtan Khurasani. Today I'm going to show you a device used by the Sasanids to shoot the bow. The uh, key question is whether Sasanids used a thumb draw or used a variety of finger draw. Beat Dwyer, Dr. Kave Farroch and I, we have written an article on Sassanid archery which will be published soon. Based on our research, Sassanids, we know that the Ash Ashkanian or the Parthians did not use a thumb draw but used, as we can see, a variety of uh, finger draw. Sassanids also, according to our research, and used uh, uh, a variety of finger draw which you can see this way and uh, then you see that they hold the bow this way or this way sometimes you see that they are fingering uh, they're pointing with the finger sometimes they close it later on we see this time even in the Islamic period of Iran not with the extended finger but when I close it it's called Qabzai Khandan open grasp in the bow hand or um, or um, a laughing grass and then uh, this device was uh, then used the key question is when was the thumb draw or when was it introduced into Persia into Iran what we think is that it was introduced uh, um, when the military uh, reforms were introduced into the Sassanid military which was very successful they also as you know for example the um, scabbard slide system of swords where the swords were hanging in the middle of the body uh, through the fights in Central Asia with the tribes there were uh, then changed into the P-shaped, double P-shaped so they could uh, carry their um, swords on a, in a horizontal version as long as you have a scabbard slide you can uh, sit on a horse but once you are on a horse uh, you're on infantry you keep you need to keep uh, pressurizing the handle but uh, and at the same time we assume that uh, this uh, thumb draw was introduced uh, into the Sassanid version more about it is going to be uh, uh, you can find it in our article which will be published in a leading academic journal this is what the Sassanid used and I'm going to show it to you this is the Sassanid device which you can see it here you see in the Sassanid uh, uh, stone reliefs and then also that they use this and if you just you know they use like this so this is the leather which was which is made by beadware so they keep, hold the string with these two they extend these two fingers i'm going to show it to you now imagine i have it here i put the string here close it the thumb can be like this and then here you can extend your finger as you see some sometimes like this closed and this finger is up so I can then bring it here now the key question is if I bring one of these uh, arrows here and then I put it here right this finger which is up can pressurize the arrow to the side of the bow you see that and control it right this way I can show it to you again and bring it you know and then shoot it okay I don't release it here I don't have a target and you see that I can show it from top as well look a very uh, key question which we had was whether Sassanid put it on this side or on the other side if I put it on the other side as long as your finger is extended that's what we cannot really find it very well in the reliefs or what we have but uh, from the other side also works very well you see that but what I found because I'm a mostly a thumb uh, draw uh, shooter I find it very convenient because as long as I pressurize and keep it not pressurize but keep the uh, the bow here uh, the arrow here I can really go and shoot it
So this is the Sasanian device for archery uh, designed by Pete Boyer. One more thing I need to, to mention is when you hold the bow, Khabzei Khandan is also called Khabzei Bahromi, referring to the Sasanid king Bahrami Gur. So this is the Sasanid device, Sasanian device for archery and uh, I would like to thank Pete Dwyer for making it for me, for contributing Im immensely to this research and thank you very much for uh, visiting our channel and please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us. Thank you very much.